everyone and welcome back to another car boot tim and um this is probably our last sunday one um tell the truth i'm not sure how much longer this year i will be doing my car boots i hope you should be doing one on wednesday but honest to god after that i think i'm going to take the rest of this year off because i got a lot of stuff to sort through hell of a lot of stuff and yeah, I've got them quite packed, so I think, I think there's some there's some bits and bobs that definitely in here that can probably find a new home somewhere. Um, I have picked up a lot, and I'm, I'm collecting too many consoles, and, and even today, oh, someone had in television, fully boxed in television, he's actually a friend of a friend, well, actually, he's my friend, yeah, <laughs> he's actually a really cool guy, I met him through a friend, and um, yeah, no, the first time he actually had video games for me, oh, and he had, like, he had a, I'll show you later, he had some really good PS1 stuff. But yeah, oh, really nice and television box stuff. But I just had to say to him, I'm really sorry, but I says I'm collecting way too much. I need to I need to cut down a bit. I says I'm probably just gonna go through and get rid of a lot of more fillery stuff. Um but yeah, so um we'll be giving don't worry we'll still be putting some videos out they'll be slightly different we'll probably be looking at some of my rarer things uh looking at and say be some of the stuff we picked out throughout the year maybe taking a little bit of a closer look so please give us a subscribe give us a, click that notification bell if you could because that'd be great to get a few more subscribers uh so i won't leave you hanging so we said hopefully wednesday and who knows maybe the following saturday and i think with all this corona stuff we're unfortunately going to you know we're not going to be um well yeah i don't think they're going to be open for much longer but anyway i just you know i didn't film an intro because i actually was walking into the car with my friend and i already know he doesn't like being filmed and that's fair enough to him he's saying it's his he doesn't want a camera in his face so it's fair enough as uh, saying um right so let's get on so this is actually this first pickup was actually quite late in the day which is dad load of dvds he had a load of random wii and one random wii u games and he's one of these guys everything was 50p so i thought there's some good filler titles here so fruitful kings of clubs that looks interesting oh it's their golf game but still interesting golf game and there's that this is the table tennis game that's made by Rockstar. This is like when they were making Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it's nuts to think sometimes. The Avatar game. James Cameron, not the anime inspired one. The James Cameron. I didn't know that used the balance board. That would be quite interesting to see how that is done. Um, replay, because I don't think I've ever actually picked up replay. So that's good to in the collection. I got myself a Jazz Dance because I think they're going for get a nice. You need to actually get trade credit for that. So and this guy's been really nice. I was going through. He was actually helping me find them all. Um, is that fifty p? I'm pretty sure I don't have that. Brain training. Um, effort. I said I love it when I have stuff that still has the original label on it. I love this sort of thing. Um, so this is all 50 pieces. I've had like seven quid for a whole lot. I didn't even have, I said, no, because I, he said, oh, I said, oh no, it's 50p ago. I'm not gonna, I'm not one of those people who's gonna argue for 50p. Um, we use Sonic All Stars Transformation. Um, Scarface. Oh, I didn't know they even released this on the Wii. It seems a bit of a random thing. Dance, and the last one, Dance on Broadway. Who knows? Got a lot of, have a little jig along to that. There was one awesome thing that was there, and it was really nice. And actually, it was funny because I, my friend, had actually got to it at first. And I literally ran across the car boot. Still, I literally went, oh, I just ran across the car boot to just go. Ah, oh. he had a fully boxed Super Mario All Star Super Nintendo, and all oh, the box was like minty fresh. And I was like, because I, I know my friend, he's going to pick it up like all day. And he's like, oh, do you want it, mate? And I went. I'm like really and then he said and the guy said yeah it's a hundred quid and I was like now the thing is I actually do have that sort of money to spend and if I had a little bit extra I probably may have actually picked it up this was minty fresh the only thing is I didn't actually check the console my friend did say the console is yellow I think that was the main reason he didn't pick he said he probably would have picked it up if it was a mint condition Super Nintendo. Um, there was, I think, two games, with, other two games with it, but they were like 
FIFA game, like really easy to get ones. But it was just weird. And it was like there the whole day, just everyone would be looking at it. <laughs> and they were like, oh, Super Nintendo. And yeah, so nobody picked it up when I left. I mean, it could have, could have thingy. I guess I could have come back and tried offering like 70 quid. But I don't even have that on me to tell you the truth right now. And I got two people who say they got fully boxed Super Nintendos. And, you know, I think one of them may be coming out on Wednesdays. So that's one of the main reasons I'm actually going Wednesday. So who knows? Fingers crossed. Oh, and there's two more random games from that pile. I've got the Yogi Bear. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, so we got Yogi Bear. And you can never go wrong with Super Monkey Ball. Even though I'm pretty sure I probably got this one. But I have. I have traded that on to someone who would like it. I picked these up because I very rarely see these. Um, I got two. I never. I think I'd come across these a lot more. Um, this in the end, old N64 magazine and Super Play. I never come across these. Paid a pound for these two. And yeah, they're just literally. These are the really newer ones. So yeah, May 2012. That's quite new. It's like 3DS. Oh wow, this actually feels quite nice. Um. So I love, <laughs> it's actually got a post-it note, that's really cute. Um, yeah, so that is really cool. Um, so that was literally a pound worth. And this, I'll show you something, this is the lady I've actually talked to her quite a lot. Um, I have something really awesome from her. Um, she always has video games, but I normally, as I said, my friend normally beats me to it, which is okay. Because I got some of these Pokemon. See, I've got this unofficial guy. I know now these prizes are totally different. We actually, I think we're going to take a look at this in the Car Boot Team Extra. One of the Car Boot Team Extra is going to look at this and see how prices have changed. So that could be a good thing. Oh, Bloom Box. I think that was another 50p game. So today seemed to be a lot of 50p games. Right, what's next now? I'll leave that for a bit later. Um... Oh boy, and um, my Pokemon. I think it's already falling out. Um, this is from a store that's selling everything for 50 Another store that's selling everything for 50p. Um, Guild War and BB. I saw this and I thought, this looks up my street. It's a Sonic Christmas jumper. And I thought, well, Christmas coming up. And they normally sell these like in game and they're normally quite dear. Uh, I was going a bit thingy there, but. I thought that was really cool. The guy wanted three quid and it, it was an extra large, so even better. Um, right, let's see. I picked this up for three quid. It's a sealed Ratchet and Clank game. I actually got this one sealed already, um, but I wasn't sure because there is a few of them. I uh, picked this up from a store that I picked up two other cool things. Uh, this one's two pounds. Unfortunately, not Star Wars in there. It's um, pirates. I even said to them it's not the right game, but I said I'm not arguing with two quid. Two quid's good. Um, oh, what should I? Uh, let's get the pistol out. Okay, I want to lead. I'll get lead, lead with the. Uh. So there's actually another thing I bought from that store. She had some PlayStation 4 games for five pounds each, and I remember actually liking the last one of this. So. Give that a go. I think this was from a place that had some more 50. It was either a pound or 50p games. I got Ben 10. And oh no, that was it. I picked up three games for one pound 50. So, yep, yeah, another 50p game. And the last one I picked up that's kind of interesting. A still sealed more brain training. So, for the Nintendo seal. So, that can go nicely into my DS collection. Oh, okay, I see what's going on there. Right. Don't get too excited that some lady just had some poke. I don't know. Oh, Pokemon cards. She's like, yeah, they're not in there. <laughs> um, tell the truth, I do like the tins. And we did two for five pounds. This one does have the top somewhere. And see that the little guidebook's in there. But alas, no cards. Um, she did me a good little deal there. All oh, right. And this was another one. I think this was some. This was about near the end. And I'm shocked people didn't have this. It had Shadow of Rome. That is a Capcom game. And the other thing they had that I found quite interesting was a Capcom Arcade Hits Volume 2. No quarters, just games. Uh, PC. Love me some arcade action there. So some random classic 
Capcom games, you can never go wrong for Capcom. Um, oh, I bought this off a lady for two quid, and it's actually a totally different game inside, and it was actually the game inside looked way more interesting. Um, uh, they, I checked they didn't have the actual um, game box, but I thought, hmm, that looks more an interesting game than the X-Men one. Actually, it was after that one, because I don't think I got that for the Xbox, so... Right, uh, I think this is one of the oh, more neat things I got today. I got myself another end gauge because the first one unfortunately didn't quite work. Um, I'm not even sure if this, I hope this one works. It's got, but the main reason I thought it, it doesn't work out, I got myself a nice little pile of games and a nice, nice little case here. Um, let's see what games are saying. This is really. <laughs> Tricky. I think that's Super Monkey Ball. Sonic, that's good because I have the sealed version of that and I don't really want to open that. Um, I think that's a snowboarding game. So I've got Sonic there. Sorry, I just realised. Sonic there. Got that snowboard. Oh, is that? Oh, I think that's like the... Yeah. That, I have that in my one, so I presume that does something special. Super Monkey Ball, which you can never go wrong with. That's one of my favourites too much fun <laughs> it's like these last two as i said i love my handhelds and she said 20 quid and i said i can't go wrong with that i'm not gonna argue with that ah. rayman 3 oh that's a good one it's interesting to see how rayman plays plays on a handheld console it's probably a original like 2d version of that game which would be fun. Not oh, Pandemonium. She said the Engage actually has some really interesting games that you wouldn't. I'm happy with that. I'm happy. I said, uh, as long as this this works, <laughs> that's your bonus. I got the charger up. Says so I'm going to give you a little charge. Um, oh, let's see if there's any bonus games in here. Let's have a look. Was that the charger? Let's have a look. Sorry. Oh. Something's in here. Oh, and some headphones, so that's cool. I'll play with you later. I'll have a car beat Tim Extra during the winter, I think, on the end days. So definitely talk a bit about the one that didn't work. And you know, I'm not mad about that one because it has a SD, um, has the SIM card in there, so that doesn't work. Hopefully, I can just stick the SIM card in there and that hopefully will get it working. Um, I actually did buy Pokemon cards. <laughs> Um, the lady who I bought those ma Nintendo magazines um, had, um, she actually had Pokemon cards for once and I was like, who are? She wanted 12 quid for it. I had a little peek through it and I saw one card and I was like, yeah, that's worth my day. That's 100% worth my day. I don't think there's any shinies in it, but I'll show you in the Car Beat Tim Extra. Got some nice ones. That's the tin that goes on top. Um, had a good chat with her because she had some more cards, but um, I kind of told her the truth. I sort of said, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Um, like, you're probably better off selling it to one of the trading card shops. So I gave her contact for a good trading card shop and they'll do that. And she actually threw this in as well. Star Wars. Episode 2, Attack of the Clone. Not a very good one. <laughs> the one nobody remembers. At least people remember episode 1. And, oh, that's a lid for one of the other tins. I always forget that one's name. Um, not Pokemon's name. And the last thing is, I got this from a friend. He said the guy had the Intellivision games. Um, he had some original PlayStation. So, oh, that is minty fresh. One pound a game, he said. And I said, yes, please. Alien Trilogy. Oh, good, good, good times there. Odd world, a obviously it was funny because it was missing the disc, but I opened up the PlayStation. <laughs> and I was like, I don't, I, I'm not throwing you off, it's just the disc. And he goes, Oh, no, mate, no, no, I know I can trust you. <laughs> you're like, You're my friend. <laughs> you're, you're an honest man. I got wrist that I didn't even know came out on the PlayStation. Um, wipe out because I don't think I have the platinum version it's funny because I think it was in another bag and I said oh man can I just look in this bag like, oh sure <laughs> he's so cool this guy and I was like look I'm, I'm putting it all back my oh and he brought this out it's like Dino Crisis 1 it's like we'd like this 
the second time I picked this up. So that could be a trade bait. I haven't even said to him, I, I, I do some trade baiting sometimes. So hopefully someone will get this that they're looking for and I'll get in return something I'm looking for that like parappa the rapper. This was cool. This is what I showed my friend. Is the only thing I showed him. I got the Grand Theft Auto Collector's Edition. All three of the original games, including the Mission Pack, GTA 2. And it's funny because I picked up the other day. Actually, it's funny. Oh, and it's got like all the little bits and bobs. That's awesome. All the little guys. So that's really awesome. Shame it's a bit thingy, but I could find a new double case. I know they're a bit harder to find. That's still a good find there. Let's put that in nicely. Let's see what else we got? He said, oh, the last one. As I say, myself some Atari. Myself the Atari. <laughs> It'd be funny it's probably <laughs> that he bought this twice today. <laughs> now nah, I think they're slightly different machines and if it's on the PlayStation that I've on the PC. So I'm just gonna double check that I've got anything at the bottom. It's probably nothing near as interesting. So yeah, that engage and those um this one that I paid out for the Pokemon tin. There's as I said, I looked through it. There was one card in there that I thought was worth my day. Gonna go up and car boot Tim extra this now, along with those cards I picked up yesterday. And oh, actually, I think we'll take that book up and we'll have a little, little look at that and see how the prices were. So as you said, we'll hopefully be back Wednesday. If not, we'll put a car boot Tim extra out and, and I'll put in the comments <laughs> where we were rained off. Um, but yes, um, just everyone out there, I know it's really hard and difficult times now. But I really do hope you're having a good time at your car boots and um, you're getting the stock you need. And if we're going back into going back into lockdown, if it is the way, I just hope we're, we're, you're all okay. Um, yeah, I was saying, I'm going to edit down my collection, I think. And hopefully, yeah, I'll get some gets get this all nice and sorted but yeah um give us a like give us a dislike please give us some comments about the stuff i love watching other people's vlogs if you just you got a vlog yourself please please send it i need it all small i don't mind if you're the biggest channel ever i don't mind i said i love watching you guys it's awesome i said it's great and I, I get to meet some of you guys sometimes it's every when we, we, we run into each other and yeah i just just a nosy bug i like seeing what people get up to but yeah um it says give us a subscribe and um yeah until next time uh keep car booting